Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to solve a system of linear Diophantine equations in three variables. So what do we understand by such a system? Let's say we are given two equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1. Second equation is a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2. You notice we have three unknown variables here x, y and z. We have two equations and here a1, b1, c1, d1, a2, b2, c2, d2 are all coefficients which are integers. This is a system of linear Diophantine equations in three variables. The method which is the simplest to solve such a system is method of elimination. What we do is we pick up any variable and we will eliminate that from both the equations which would leave us with one equation in two variables and then we use our usual method of solving equation in two variables. To understand this let's take an example. What if we are asked to solve a system x plus y plus z is equal to 50 and 15x plus 9y plus z is equal to 150. We have two equations in this system in three unknowns x, y, z and we have to solve for x, y, z. We'll pick up one variable. Here let's say we picked up z and we will eliminate that from both the equations. So from the first equation we can see z is 50 minus x minus y. Let's call this equation as 1. We will put this value of z in the second equation and that will give us on simplifying 14x plus 8y is equal to 100. We can divide the whole equation by 2 to simplify it further and that will give us 7x plus 4y is equal to 50. Let's call it equation 2. We can see that our system has reduced to one single equation in two unknowns x and y. Solving such an equation is not difficult. We'll first check whether it has a solution or not, which we can see obviously has because the GCD of 7 and 4 is 1 and 1 divides the right hand side 50. So the solution exists. We will use Euclidean algorithm to find the solution of equation 2. 7 is the larger integer so we divide 7 by 4 and use our Euclid's division lemma and write it as 7 is 4 into 1 plus 3. In the next step we will divide 4 by 3 and that will give us 4 is equal to 3 into 1 plus 1. Lastly, we divide 3 by 1 and we get 3 is equal to 1 into 3 plus 0. We will stop because the remainder is 0. We can see that 1 is the GCD of 7 and 4. Now, if we do our backward calculations, we see that 7 into minus 1 plus 4 into 2 gives us 1. But the original equation 7x plus 4y is equal to 50 is different from this as here the right hand side is 1. So what if we multiply equation 3 by 50 all over? We will get 7 into minus 50 plus 4 into 100 is equal to 50. Here, we have the solution x0, y0. x0 is minus 50, y0 is 100. And when we write the general solution, it will be x is equal to minus 50 plus 4 divided by the GCD of 7 and 4 into t. This gives us x is minus 50 plus 40. And y comes out to be 100, which is a y naught, minus 7 
divided by the GCD into D, that is 100 minus 70. We substitute these values of x and y in equation 1. Equation 1 was z is equal to 50 minus x minus y. So we've put the value of x and value of y. This gives us z is equal to 3t. So the general solution is x is minus 50 plus 40, y is 100 minus 70 and z is equal to 3t. Where t can take the value 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3. If we have let's say 3 equations and 4 unknowns, we will again eliminate one variable at a time and use the same method. Thank you for watching.